David was watching his mother make some cookies. And wondering where it all went so, so wrong. Hello everybody, Daniel Bloodworth here with Isla Hink. Um, Hello. And yeah, we, uh, we don't tend to like do a lot of uh, previews and stuff or like fun little party games like this. We just opt to usually just stream it, but we got this uh, fun opportunity uh, to actually play uh, with the cast and crew uh, of Rift Tracks. Uh, so cool. Yeah, so some of the, you know, the original guys that were behind uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 and, and we were continuing to write Rift Tracks and everything. Uh, so I, uh, I didn't get to play with Mike, but I played with uh, Kevin Murphy and Bill Corbett. Uh, okay. as uh, well as uh, two of the Rift Tracks writers uh, and uh, some of the devs. Uh, and wow, so, good crew. Yeah, and then at the end of this video, we're actually going to play those those clips from the sessions because we did like the minimal settings, <laughs> like three round settings, uh, okay. just, just to get a feel for how all the different uh, features and stuff work. Uh, and it's uh, the game itself is from the makers of What the Dub, which we had a lot of fun with mm -hmm. last year. And so it's like, basically um, you know it's if you haven't seen our, our what the dub streams it's basically like mad libs but for, for like old movie clips and so they're like, awesome. they'll, yeah they'll play a clip you'll hear a line and then they'll just like mute out what the other person says uh and then you fill in the blank uh but uh one of the things that is interesting to note here is is they talked about like you know, sometimes you got to think about, you know, rather than just writing dialogue, like the difference between like writing a line and riffing. So like riffing on a scene might ne not necessarily mean you're like filling in, oh, this is the person talking right now. You're just, you're just making a joke that feels, you know, appropriate in the moment to you. Right. Yeah. Uh, which is a, a perspective I just hadn't thought of before. Uh, yeah, but, I was trying to think if when we were playing What the Dub, if we would ever do that, really. I think we maybe did a few times, but not often. Well, there's Don, who would just use sound effects, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, so what's fun about how this came about is uh, they, you know, they came out with a game last year, and they just, you know, just like anyone else would, they just, like, tweeted it to Rift Tracks guys, and, hey, check this out. And yeah. then And then it actually, like, resulted in a positive result. Oh. I love uh, that. <laughs> I guess Rift Tracks had like floated the idea of doing a game in the past, but didn't really know how to do it or how they would start or go about it. So it just kind of feels like just, you know, that perfect kind of a match. Mm. Um, they're saying that like, in addition to just like having the cast there and the writers involved, uh, they also have access to this vast library of movie clips that they've already gotten clear. Right, the licensing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's so. Huge. Yeah, so they have a lot more variety. I remember there would be times when we would do what the dev and we just like see like a bunch oh, of scenes from the same clip. film in one session. Which know? which has its charm because like yeah. we we started we would like keep the same name for the same characters throughout play sessions. And so like we we developed a whole like rich history for Charles, I think it was. Right. Like this dude <laughs> Charles kept showing back up. There was I oh man, I'm really looking forward to play this. Yeah, and I didn't I didn't see any uh, in my session so far, but uh, they said there'll be some like animated clips that are in there as well. Oh, fun! Yeah, I mean there are uh, some really good public domain animated stuff. So yeah, and then the other the the big thing that makes a difference with Rift Tracks versus What the Dub is, so in What the Dub, like you know they have like the automated speech robot voice thing, but yeah. in Rift Tracks, when you click the Rift for Me button, where basically like you know it takes one of their pre written jokes. It's not just that it's a pre-written joke from one of the writers. It's also voiced by one of the cast members. Oh, what? Yeah, so you hear... Was, I don't know how I feel about this. Because <laughs> like, sometimes in like Jackbox or whatever, the like autocomplete jokes are pretty... I mean, most of the time they're not very good, but like I can't imagine... Like most of these are going to be pretty good. It's, like, yeah. it's not fair. It's, it's like, <laughs> there is a point like, deduction. Using... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so there's a point deduction there. And there is also an option, like, if you feel like that, like, if you feel like, oh, hearing that, like, gives away that, like, oh, this is a pre-written joke or whatever, there's an option to, right. like, go back to the robot text. Uh, but okay. I think it just it just lends a flavor, you know, to having those guys yeah, I mean, there for sure. Yeah, fun, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I suppose if you're just playing to have fun and not to win, then. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, they, they've actually that? written multiple jokes per scene. Uh, oh. So they they estimate there's something like three thousand pre-recorded jokes in here. Oh my goodness, that's wild. To think about, yeah, yeah kind of cool. Turning that around in a year for sure. 
I mean, I guess you would logistically you would have to because if multiple people used the joke for me or whatever yeah. riff for me option, they you couldn't just have three of the same joke. That would give up the ghost right away. Yeah, that's funny too uh, to think about. But but going into that, there's also a different mode now uh, called a pick a riff mode. So oh. rather than you writing in, you get like a deck of the pre-recorded jokes and so they shuffle oh. them so like they take them out of the context of the original scenes oh and you just have ran a, like a list of random ones so like i think you have like <laughs> six or eight different ones okay that you have for the whole session oh, and then you, okay yeah and then one point per per game you can swap those out for a new list um oh, but that's that's actually that sounds really fun actually yeah, it ended up being more fun than I expected. And, and at the end, like you can see like both back to back where we did like a normal one in a pick, uh, pick a riff mode. Oh, uh, fun. Yeah, and then uh, Even some other- Even playing field too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it kind of le- like takes away some of that stress of like just that brain freeze. Yeah. You, know, you, you see Which what I you really have. I really enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> I really love that, that like freak out moment, but I know like Don and some of the guys like get really <laughs> stressed out about it. <laughs> I snack on it. I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of the other options they have in there, uh, they have a riff bot that can fill in for smaller groups. Like if you only have like two or three people. Oh, okay. um, they would have... that always use the pre-made then or? Uh, yeah, I, I would guess, guess would so. Yeah. 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 Uh, they have a ranked voting option. So that rather than just voting for one player, you can pick like your top three. Oh, that's cool. So... Uh, so yeah, so then that that kind of like can go that can go awry though. As yeah, we, that can change up the score as well. Yeah, as we saw with the last guardian getting going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they also have a progressive. So they have progressive voting is the is the normal way that they've done it, and the Jackbox has done it, to where every round like ratchets up and how many points. Right. But you can switch that off to where every round is the same amount of points. Mm, um, okay. And, and keep that even throughout. So you don't have like that quick turnaround upset at the end. Yeah, just I wonder from one if that's, person nailing it. I wonder if that's more or less fair, right? Because I mean, the idea is to let someone catch back up. Right. Yeah, so, it's like a Mario Kart blue shell kind of a thing. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But I, they say they've gotten like so much feedback on like how many points people get, and like you're saying, like for them, it's like we're just trying to have fun writing things, and like people, but people take scoring very seriously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why they have all these different options. Uh, and then uh, they have a uh, a remote play option built into the game, so that if oh. so that if you do own the game and somebody else is hosting, you can just see the like see this the session mirrored in your game rather than having to watch it over a stream with the delay and everything. Okay, and does that have a limit of how many players do you have to be let in, or if you have the room code? Because like if I, we were streaming, I think you would just put in the room code, it? but I don't know. If it has okay. a limit, it's probably this. I would guess it would be the same limit that they have for the yeah. number of players. Well, I wanted to ask about that because you had said that there were new ways to do online multiplayer. Yeah, we didn't get into that in the session. Oh, I do, yeah, I do okay. know that they have some like new voting options and and spectator options and stuff too. But yeah, I, I don't have that full list in front of me. Okay, but, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing there. that. Um, and then likewise to the remote play, they have a built-in voice chat feature too, so that. Oh, that's you know, nice. If all you guys have is the game rather than, you know, right. making people sign up for Discord accounts or whatever, Discord. whatever yeah. feels more simple to you. Um, and they're going to be doing updates. Uh, they're going to put in, like, expand the sound effect library and stuff because, <laughs> like we mentioned with Don, <laughs> like, that's a hit. Yeah, Don's excited for that. Uh, and they also just not, not like set in stone things, but they just speculated on things that they, you know, they kind of like to do in the future, like having like themed sets. So that you could do like just Christmas movies or Halloween movies or like different genres and that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then That's yeah. Cool. So as we mentioned, we're going to be doing the group stream next month. All around the seventeenth is what we have it penciled in right now. The game itself comes out on the fifth, uh, and it's on both consoles and PC. I so, can't wait. Yeah. And then in the meantime, my two sessions with the crew are right after this. Hello, aspiring riffers. In each round of Writer Riff Mode, a movie clip will play. Every clip has a spot to write your own joke or riff, as we call it. If you're stuck, you can choose a randomly assigned riff from one of our own professional comedy professionals at a slight point deduction. 
everyone's riffs are played back and you vote for your favorite. At the end of all the rounds, the player with the most points wins. Teresa! Teresa's Teresa. back. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's so good. She's just so good. Here we go. to say some clothes for you. Okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath. And, and so a random breath. aside on the Teresa, she's my partner, and she always claims that I win at every single game. So I made her the winner. <laughs> oh, I love they, that. Great. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she does her fair share of winning. <laughs> Just like uh, what the dub, if you miss the clip, we have the script at the bottom as well as the riff for me option. And you see, we have different characters from our movies here Ice Cream Bunny, Roller Gator, Torgo, Mr. B Natural, Guy Oh, Park. nice. Safety Woman. Safety, Safety Woman. woman. <laughs> There's a couple more. Too. Some for you. Thanks. I'm glad you kept some for lunch. They're right there next to my sack of heads. <laughs> well, it's either that or something. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> wild. Wow. That's funny. Had to throw out a whole lot of food to find him. Back. <laughs> Mind if I borrow a tube top? <laughs> it's a Mayor McCheese costume. <laughs> Big cheese pronounced uh, well as well. It, yeah, that thing's been hitting it out of the park. It has. The text to speech impresses quite often. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's all Google. Well, thanks, Google. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, create something useful. Well, look oh, at wow. that. Oh my goodness. Right. Sean. <laughs> Did anyone else get any points? <laughs> well, Sean had to vote for someone. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin and I both went for the sack of heads. We are That's crazy. Dark, <laughs> dark you guys bastards. up on sack of heads. <laughs> the same no movie. Place, beautiful woman. That was Bride of the Gorilla. I don't remember yeah. either of these movies. Yeah. The same one. Seen the clip? Now enter your riff. The last one was called She Demons. That was oh, an okay. original Mary Jo one. That's probably why. One of the other features uh, people really loved about what the dub was the uh, sound effects. Yeah, we had a guy who would sometimes he would just throw all sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're back and they're uh, improved. We added upon them. We brought back a couple of classics from what the dub and some new ones. So there's, uh, yeah, that's definitely an area we're going to keep expanding. I think kind of wish we'd done more of that with what the dub. So that's an area I think you're going to see grow as the game kind of continues on sometimes a fart says so much <laughs> no place for a beautiful woman well then i guess it's time for you to go <laughs> <laughs> this is no place for a beautiful woman this lap is reserved for a gorgeous man <laughs> this is no place for a beautiful woman so i'm leaving <laughs> No place for a beautiful woman. Or even a place for a <laughs> <laughs> All back. All back, always. All back, yes. No place yeah. for a beautiful woman. Or even you. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a recorded one. This is no place for a beautiful woman. That's a sign on the door of Kid Rock's mansion. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I like that. Yeah, it's one of the things that, that'll uh, 
hit us sometimes is, is your brain like associates the wrong person talking when you first see a clip. Right. Mm. Like, who am I actually typing for? It's like, oh, I messed that up. Yep. <laughs> Well, that's why it's fun to have it here because it could be putting words in a character's mouth or, you know, objectively commenting or you know, all different perspectives. Okay, Rippers, it's the final round. How were the tests? now. You know, I, actually, on that point of you know, kind of riffing versus dubbing, there's a few movies that I watched for what the dub that ended up in this game that I couldn't make work because you know it was only dialogue replacement, including the boy in the plastic bubble. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I watched the whole movie and I found no clips and it was awful. And I, oh, you know, I'm I sorry. hated my life. The part where she jumps a horse <laughs> over his plastic bubble outside. Yeah, yeah. Classic scene. Oh man, there's. So many classic scenes in that movie. <laughs> well, it looks like yeah, that's, that's a better print than we had initially. We had like just a yeah. utterly, looks yeah. like one of those VHS tapes that was done. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Like, and it probably was. Probably someone probably taped it off TV and put it on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How were the tests? I'm afraid you have chronic brain syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> How were the tests? Well, it appears you're <laughs> <laughs> Nice. How were the tests? You both have double extra powerful syphilis. <laughs> wow. That's, How was the test? Sorry. That was supposed to get those. <laughs> How was the test? I'm afraid your son is John Travolta. Nice. <laughs> How was the test? Standardized. <gasps> I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> no emotions. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin, for being syphilis. a filthy old man with me. Ah, syphilis <laughs> is a perennial. Connor, oh, well done. Oh. Nice. You're a blindfolded dart. <laughs> and the winner is Teresa. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. right. Take that, Sean. Teresa. <laughs> Just kidding. I own the toaster now, Teresa. <laughs> Join us for bars and punch in the fellowship hall. There it is. Just well eeked by Connor there, Sean. Yeah. Oh, nice. I haven't seen that at the end. I love yet. those end yeah. They're just yeah, so much Yeah, that's great. Fun. It's been a different one every time. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wins. Hello, Rip. I'll hear the laughs. Each you know what? Those. That's the real points. A movie clip will play. Every clip has a spot to write your own joke or riff, as we call it. You'll be assigned six random riffs, and you'll need to pick which one of your riffs is the funniest one. Don't like any of your riffs? Once per game, you can swap them out for a new set. Hmm. After you yeah. make your selection, everyone's riff is played wisely. back, and you vote for your favorite. At the end of all the rounds, the player with the most points wins. I like that you get dealt a hand of riffs at the beginning. Round one. Well, I think I can trust you, Larry. After <laughs> all, I'm just trying to be your friend. Chalky. Oh, Chalky. Chalky actually <laughs> did make an appearance in What the Dub. Oh, well. Yeah, we got a couple, couple clips from that one in there. He's a crowd favorite. <laughs> that was just so weird. Well, I think I can trust you, Larry. After all, I'm just trying to be your friend. I'm going to need a lot of booze. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can trust you, Larry. After all, I'm just trying to be your friend. What a pushy <laughs> NFT. <laughs> Perfect. That, wow. I'm just trying to be your friend. Well, they would if I had any friends. <laughs> well, I think I can trust you, Larry. After all, I'm just trying to be your friend. 
I hear that whenever I order Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. I think I can trust you, Larry. After all, I'm just trying to be your friend. What a well-adjusted, totally sane thing to say. I think I can trust you, Larry. After all, I'm just trying to be your friend. Some apologies are just a little too late. <laughs> Time to place your vote, fellow rippers. Oh, we're doing us. Uh, oh, ranked choice. Yeah, ranked choice. Yeah. Multiple yep. votes. That little kid from the Chalky short, uh, he appears in another short that we just acquired recently. Really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's a he's an angry little guy. Yeah, yeah I like that <laughs> angry kid. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Oh, that was, that was an ace in the hole. Kid, that yeah. was, it was sort of unbelievable. Yeah. I think that might have been written for that clip. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So good on you, Sean. Yeah, I wrote it. Uh, I don't remember. That RNG <laughs> really? generator. Man. <laughs> Round two. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Perhaps you would like to mix a few leaves with the grass. <laughs> it's that time the of year. zoom. Your riff now. I gotta say, I'm pretty lucky with my cards this time, I think. Yeah. It's fun when you got one that's perfect, but it's also fun when you got one that's just out of left field. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you would like to mix a few leaves with the grass. At my dinner parties, I say that to all my guests. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you would like to mix a few leaves with the grass. Three words. White <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Perhaps you would like to mix a few leaves with the grass. I would have been insulted if it weren't so stupid and confusing. <laughs> Perhaps you would like to mix a few leaves with the grass. Yum yum what? No fava beans and Chianti? <laughs> da, 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 da. Perhaps you would like to mix a few leaves with the grass. Some might call it crap. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you would like to mix a few leaves with the grass. Ennui, despair, quiet desperation. <laughs> Here we go again! It's a good all purpose one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a poop joke. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Bill Thank leaps you. out. Thank you, wipe with it. Yes. <laughs> the final round. Yes. What are you oh, doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's go time, uh, Wow. Context does not make that clip any better. <laughs> no, but you miss out on all the great impressions that come next. Don't forget Man. it's your last chance to swap out riffs if you want. I'm going to try it. I got to swap them out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I had one that was just ah uh, Woodstock '99. <laughs> I really got a good spot for it. <laughs> Wasn't violent enough as a clip. Yeah, exactly. What do you feel like doing? I know how to get high by sniffing bathroom caulk. We could do that. <laughs> what do you feel like doing? His dirty talk needs workshop. <laughs> what do you feel like doing? Would you settle for some nice sweaty comic relief? <laughs> what do you feel like doing? Rachel Carlson's greatest nightmare. <laughs> what? 
What do you feel like doing? Well, just more to hate. <laughs> what do you feel like doing? It's my fabulous booty that drives the gals wild. <laughs> Okay. Who is uh, Rachel Carlson? I have no idea. <laughs> Isn't she the, the author of that environmental book from Rachel the Carson? I, I oh, Carson. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, we should fix that. Oh, that might be <laughs> what it is. Okay, got it. Johnny Carson's greatest nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, second best. <laughs> I think that one might have been meant for this too. It is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, would you check out the riffing skills on this guy? Very nice. All right. All right. Ooh, Look at that. It, Daniel. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. And the winner is. Oh. oh wow. Wow. I should have thrown the game for our guests. <laughs> boo! Boo! Who's saying boo? Rigged. It's rigged. It's all rigged. <laughs>